Hi, it's David from Lumicrest Lighting Solutions. This video we're going to talk about CRI, the color rendering index, which is meant to tell you how accurately the colors that any given light source will be rendered by, by, by that light. Um, CRI is a metric that was developed quite some time ago by a French institution called the CIE, which is a world authority on color. Um, and so the way that the color rendering index works is that it compares the light output, the light spectrum of any light source to the light spectrum created by a 100 watt or any, any wattage incandescent light bulb or halogen light. Halogen lights are uh, really a form of incandescent lights. And the, CI, the CRI standard basically deems that this light source is the reference and it assigns its value to be 100. So if any other light, like an LED light or a, a compact fluorescent light or any other type of light source renders the colors exactly like this kind of light bulb, its CRI becomes 100. Now, um, that metric also is a little bit um, more complicated in that once the color source uh, the light source reaches a, a color temperature of 5,000 Kelvin. Uh, we stop comparing it to the incandescent light bulb and we compare it suddenly to sunlight, some, some definition of sunlight, because sunlight changes all the time depending on weather conditions and time of day. So CRI works by um, comparing the spectrum of light to how it illuminates eight pastel colors. That's how CRI is calculated. They don't actually illuminate the colors anymore, but the spectrum is analyzed to see how accurately it, it renders those eight colors. Um, and then the score is assigned from 0 to 100. Technically, in another video, I'll confuse you just a little bit more by pointing out that CRI can in fact be a negative number. You don't see it very often, um, but um, maybe more often than you might expect. Nonetheless, uh, generally you see CRIs in the range of, of 0 to 100, and 100 being the same as an incandescent bulb. Um, now, I alluded in the other video to one of the shortcomings of CRI, which is the fact that it only is calculated on pastel colors. So it doesn't tell you anything about how it renders bright red or bright blue or um, skin tones, um, it's only calculated on those, those simple basic colors. Um, so people have developed alternatives to CRI. In, in one case you have extended CRI, which basically becomes a palette of 15 colors. You take the original eight and you add seven saturated colors and you calculate it extended CRI. Uh, that's a very useful metric. Um, and so, and usually you come up with a little lower number because um, the, the values are R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 for CRI, those are the pastel colors. R9 is the saturated red color, uh, and so on. You have, you have a different um, range of colors that are tested. LEDs, because of the nature of how they're made, most LEDs are made from a blue emitter and they're treated with yellow phosphor. And blue, violet, is on one end of the spectrum and red is on the opposite end of the spectrum. So uh, technically an LED has to convert that blue output out into the opposite end of the spectrum and then as you do so, you start to lose energy at that end of the, the red spectrum. So often normal LEDs don't show red very well. Unfortunately, CRI doesn't tell you that because CRI stops at R8 and the red is R9. So what you also want to know for color rendering is what is the R9 value? How well is it going to show red? Most often, you don't get that information from the manufacturers. You don't get it from the package. Um, it's very difficult to measure it yourself because um, even handheld spectrometer may cost you several thousand dollars. Um, so it's, it's not something that's easy to know. One, one kind of rule of thumb is that if the CRI is, um, the eight pastel color CRI is 90 or above, you can be pretty sure that your R9 value is going to be a healthy number. Um, one thing you might be interested to know is that ENERGY STAR certification 
which um, is uh, an approval that talks about the energy efficiency of, of light sources and how, how uh, well they perform in various ways. Energy Star requires that the R9 value be more than zero. <laughs> Um, and more than zero isn't very much, um, but bearing in mind that it is actually possible to have negative values. Um, even when you buy an energy star rated light, you aren't guaranteed by any means to have very good red color rendering. Uh, another technical note is why, why is this so? Uh, if it's possible to get very saturated reds from an LED light, uh, why do manufacturers opt not to do it? And the simple answer is there's a trade-off between brightness and color rendering accuracy um, to the tune of up to maybe 20%. So you have to consciously choose that trade-off. And for most people, um, manufacturers have decided that people would rather have very bright lights that render colors OK, um, but not perfectly, uh, rather than losing 20% of that light output. At Lumacrest, we choose to make the trade-off the other way. We go for color rendering accuracy versus um, maximum brightness because we work with art galleries, we work with hair salons, we work with um, people who are illuminating food or high-end residences, uh, even a restaurant. There's, there's many, many places where it's really important, uh, maybe more important than you might realize, to have good color rendering. So, um, and we just make sure that we're at the latest, latest version of the technology, the LED technology, that is getting better and better every day um, so that our lights are as efficient as possible at the same time delivering that kind of high level spectrum. Um, we do publish our um, full data sheets of the LED lights, PAR lights, integrated track heads. Uh, you'll find on our website, um, we take spectrometer readings of actual product that we ship, just take a, a random sample and um, publish that on the website so that you would see in many cases, the, the CRI and the extended CRI is a, a product that we ship out is actually rated higher than, than the spec of uh, 95 CRI that we, that we guarantee as a minimum. Now, along with CRI, if you start to study this, this, uh, this question, you'll find CRI, the basic CRI is known as RA, and the extended CRI is RE. Um, and then you'll find things like CQS, which is the color quality score. It's a newer metric um, which uh, attempts to overcome the shortcomings of CRI. Um, you have things like TM30-15RF, the uh, fidelity index, um, and the RG of that uh, TM3015, uh, which is the gamut index. There, there are a number of ways of trying to quantify CRI, but Coming back to the idea that color is reflected light, and so the, these metrics are basically trying to tell you how, how accurate the spectrum of your light source is so that you will see the colors um, of your artworks, of your furnishings, of your friends, uh, the food that you eat, um, how, how pleasant, saturated, clean, accurate the colors of that you're going to see. To learn more about our product line and more information about LED lighting and the applications, please visit our website at lumacrest.com and uh, give us a call. We are very happy to help you with your LED lighting and answer any of your questions.